It's time for the World Series. Who you got? Astros, Phillies, coming at you with your best bets on Guy Boston Sports. What is going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Schmitty back on the horse. Let's get after it. The World Series is here. We've got the Phillies, the Astros, Schmitty's MLB picks for one final ride here in our first season capping Major League Baseball. And I am just so excited to be back, guys. And I just gotta say, whatever you're going through, hey, get it together, handle your business, and get right back to it. That's what I had to do, I had to step aside, figure out some things, and hey, we're all going through something right now, we're all dealing with something, so hey, lean on the people you love, uh, that's what I had to do, and I just had to trust myself, and you know, hey, hey, we got it back, Schmitty is back, and we are rocking, and who would I be if I didn't come back and talk some World Series with you guys after the incredible season we had uh, first season capping Major League Baseball and you know we just we have to come back and do it I know I didn't really ride with you guys through the postseason if you kept up with me on Twitter uh, pretty much uh, posted most of the postseason but looking back at the predictions we have the Astros coming out of the AL so we got that done but then the NL just absolutely imploded on us obviously did not see uh, the Padres and the Phillies ending up in the NLCS and we were way off about that one uh, but that's okay it's the beauty of it October baseball anything could happen and just a little recap obviously the the, the Padres knocking off two uh, division winners uh, knocking off the Mets and then the Dodgers and I did not think that the Dodgers would lose to the Padres and uh, you know it hats off to San Diego incredible season for those guys of course and then but the Phillies they're the ones that are here in the World Series they get it done over the Padres and my I did not see Philly coming man you know they fired Joe Girardi early in the season um, and you know riding with the new manager and just ending the season beautifully or the regular season and coming into the postseason red hot we're seeing guys like Bryce Harper Reese Hoskins uh, Real Muto these guys are just tearing it up and they're getting great pitching from you know the guys that we've followed all season long Zach Wheeler Aaron Nola of course uh, the two studs for the Phillies but the Astros, I was all over the Astros coming out of the AL. I mean, maybe it was an obvious pick, um, but I did not see them losing to the Yankees. They handled their business, swept the Yankees, and here we are, game one of the World Series, Friday night here on October 28th. So let's dive right in. The pitching matchup, Aaron Nola and Justin Verlander. You couldn't ask for any better. It is going to be one heck of a pitcher's duel here in game one and i am stoked the 39 year old verlander had himself a cy young caliber season and he gets the start in game one for the strohs and i expect nothing but peak performance from him i expect him to come out and absolutely dish the baseball right down the plate um and we're locking in on justin verlander here this evening and on the other side not a bad pitcher at all aaron nola this guy's a stud as well and i'm taking the over for both of these guys strikeouts here today verlander you're getting plus money at plus 120 on DraftKings or excuse me, on FanDuel, DraftKings still has a really juiced number for the over five and a half. I'm taking Justin Verlander. We're putting the chips in the middle of the table. Verlander, seven strikeouts or more. I love it. I love this spot. Getting the start at home here. Starting things off big for the Astros. And then um, he's actually only pitched against Philly 
three times in his career, which is insane, according to Stat Muse, at least is what I found. And um, one of them times actually came earlier this month, back on October 4th, and against the Phils, and he pitched a five inning shutout with 10 strikeouts. So an incredible performance for Verlander. And this is all from Stat Muse. Correct me if this is wrong, but this is the information that I, uh, I was given, um, you know, looking it up online. Um, but obviously in the playoffs, he's had two starts. He got piped by the Mariners and nobody expected that. But the Astros still able to pull out that series. And Jordan Alvarez was the MVP. We all know in that one. And then uh, his only start against the Yankees. Verlander showed up just like I expect him to do tonight. One run in six innings pitched in game one of the ALCS. So I really like what Verlander is going to come out and do today. I expect big things. Aaron Nola, five and a half is the over under on FanDuel and DraftKings. The over is at minus 120. I love this for Aaron Nola. He's been a strikeout machine. He's only got to hit six Ks. And I think that he can get it done here today. I really do think that this game one is going to be low scoring. Both of these teams figuring it out. Um, you know, the over under is at six and a half. And that makes me lean the under because, you know, when the total is set that low, um, usually it, it means uh, something good for the under. But with these two teams, two high powered offenses, you really never know, but with Nola and Verlander on the mound today, I love the under six and a half. Uh, if you're doing a parlay or a SGP, I recommend you know maybe getting some juice, taking the under seven and a half or the under eight and a half just to play it safe. But I'm rocking with Verlander and Nola. Those are honestly my favorite plays here in game one. They're over strikeout totals, and I'm definitely gonna play them both individually and parlay both of them and the nerfy is absolutely juiced in this one minus 160 i don't recommend playing it straight but if maybe it's a nice little parlay piece i do like the nerfy here today i know we, we were the yurfy kings all season long but i really do uh like the nerfy here uh as we're talking about with these guys in verlander and nola getting the start in game one um but like i said a solid uh a lay piece of course and looking at the pitching matchups for the entire world series or at least through the first four games the astros are rolling out with verlander obviously tonight and then fram fromber valdez we love fromber here on the channel uh, in game two is the projected starter lance mccullers game starting in game three and then uh christian javier in game four on the Philly side, Nola tonight, Zach Wheeler game two, uh, Ranger Suarez game three, and Noah Syndergaard uh, game four are the projected starters. And I know that it could possibly change in there, but I don't really see that changing, honestly, guys, here today. But now we'll break down some lines. We'll take a look at the entire series a little bit. Won't take too long on it, um, but definitely game one here. Uh, I'm just gonna give my game one pick. I am taking the Astros. We're taking them. We took them to, uh, to win the World Series. They're here, uh, and I think it's time for them to shine. They're gonna get it done at home behind the arm of Verlander, and this offense may be able to get to Aaron Nola a little bit. Um, but I didn't even talk about it though. Aaron Nola actually was uh, when he pitched against the Astros earlier this month on October 3rd, he was dealing too. He threw 10 strikeouts. So that is just more reason for the over for both of these guys. I love the plays there, um, but I do like the Astros to win here tonight. And looking at the series props, uh, who you guys got? I wanna know, drop it in the comments. Personally, right now, I think I'm taking the Astros to win this series four to two. That is my series prediction. And the odds for that for the Astros to win in six is plus 340. That is actually the lowest odds out of um, all the possible predictions here. And you know, maybe that's just for good reason, but the Phillies, they're gonna steal a game or two. I do not see the Astros sweeping this series, to be honest with you guys. Um, but maybe the Phillies work some magic. You guys, are, you know the drill. You can love me or fade me. The Phillies have been absolutely red hot. They are a magical team right now through this postseason. Uh, and Bryce Harper has played at an MVP level. So, you know, who knows? 
Uh, honestly, um, <laughs> based off our postseason, how it went, especially if you follow me on Twitter, um, definitely wasn't on the money very often, unfortunately, unless if it was the Astros. So, uh, you know, faded this Phillies team and they ended up beating the Braves. And then, of course, uh, they go on uh, to beat the Padres. And, you know, there's just a lot of magic out of Philly right now. So who knows what's going to happen. Uh, Astros to sweep plus 850. I don't, like I said, don't think that's going to happen. Astros in five plus 500 um, and six. I like that, the plus 340. And then if it goes seven, Astros win plus 390. All of these numbers are on FanDuel. I'm going, or I keep saying FanDuel. These are from DraftKings. DraftKings is actually the official sponsor for the MLB. And I got all of my numbers from DraftKings. The Phillies to sweep plus 1800. I will tell you right now that is not happening. I will cut off my left nut if that happens. Straight. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm just messing around. But the Phillies are not going to sweep this series. If they do, um, you know, you can uh, crucify me. <laughs> um, but the Phillies in five plus 750 and then in six plus 700 and the Phillies to win in seven plus 650. Like I said, I do like the Astros in six, maybe five games here um but i think it's definitely going to finish out in that range um mvp i have a dark horse pick for the world series mvp i'm taking jeremy pena at plus 1500 i love the odds here this kid has been an absolute stud this postseason he's been tearing it up he's batting in front of jordan alvarez and he set up some big he set up those big moments for jordan alvarez uh, to go and pump the brakes off the ball and clinch that series against the Mariners. And Pena, he continued his success against the Yankees. I just really like what, the, what this guy, had, this youngster has done. They're calling him El Nino, I think, or uh, the Nino, uh, the guys on the broadcast, um, or like the post game guys, like uh, not David Ortiz, but uh, not Manny Ramirez. I, I forget, uh, but I digress. Uh, but Jeremy Pena, he's been an absolute stud in plus 1500. I think it's actually a really good deal. Uh, Alex Bregman at plus 1200 is my second best option for the World Series MVP. And then Alvarez it has one, some of the lower odds at plus 650. And then Harper, Bryce Harper, he has the lowest odds out of anybody at plus 550. And that is actually really surprising to me, um, you know, considering how big of favorites the Astros are. I wouldn't say they're huge, they're massive favorites, but they're minus 185 to win the World Series. But Bryce Harper has the lowest odds at plus 550. Somebody explain that to me because I don't understand how that works. Um, but maybe Harper could still be the MVP if they lose. We'll see. Like I said, coming into the World Series, he has been playing at an MVP level. And then, of course, Jose Altuve at plus 1,400. Altuve has struggled mightily this postseason. Um, but I really do um, think that Jose Altuve can really uh, get activated here in this World Series. He's a veteran. He'll fight through this slump. I think that he does turn it on. We could see big things from Jose Altuve. And honestly, those are my favorite, either Pena or uh, Pena or Altuve as um, your World Series MVP. And that is pretty much going to do it. We'll be back for game two, game three, game four, and so on if the series continues. But I am excited, baby. The Fall Classic, the 118th world series matchup and it is going to be an absolute deity i'm so happy to be back with you guys remember you can follow me on my twitter at the ethan schmidt and also keep up with everything here right here on guy boston sports and uh, i am going to pick up nhl videos as well i don't think we'll do nhl every day but especially on the big slates in the nhl that's usually tuesday thursday saturday i'll be right there with you guys and we'll make a hype video for that as well let's get after it let's have a winning positive was of night all the official plays will be in the pin comment as usual and i will post my world series picks on my twitter appreciate you guys ethan schmidt peace out